Hey, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. How are we guys? And girls out there, hope you're all well. A couple of good things today, some uh, a new new scooter on the scene, a bit of Trump and a bit of more Apple. If you haven't had enough Apple, it's not pro, but it's it's Apple. Okay, gonna start off. Yeah, quiet night last night. The machines did pretty well, they didn't play up too much. Just turn that down a little bit so you can hear me. Um, yeah, not too bad. You got through the night, getting to the end of the swing, so you're starting to get a little bit tired, but um, we'll get there. Got some more editing to do, got all the photos done for me Bell's Rapids video, so that's good. Um, had to get all them downloaded, ready to go. Got it all set up in Premiere Pro now, so just gotta sit in, edit for the next couple of days. Try and get it all done and dusted, and then render it up, and then put it on the tube for you to peruse. We'll start off with the Apple, a bit of Apple, Apple tech news, a uh, bit of talk around. It was mentioned a while back, the um, Apple folding phone. We all know about the Samsung and what's happened with that one. Um, it's sort of died off a little bit since its career launch. We haven't heard much much more about that. It was due, I think it's due this week in Europe to be released. So it'll be interesting to see if they do actually release it there. I know they did put back America again to even later date. So I'll be very keen to see what happens with that with the Samsung. And they've been doing that for a long time. So the Apple one, is a similar one it's the original designs and the patent office designs that they've put out is where it's on the outside and there was something where there was a liquid in the actual joint where it pivots it was actually some sort of liquid transference or something like that so i think it's a, probably a couple of years off anyway um unless they unless that's something that they bring out next year um and that's might have never know uh, they used to be leaders, now they seem to be a little bit more followers, a bit more cautious. So I'll be interested to see if it does come out. The talk is that folding phones are the future. Uh, I may be wrong, but I, I don't really think so. We used to have flip phones. Everyone used to have flip phones and the folding phones, and they were absolute pain in the butt. I, don't, I wouldn't be buying one again. I think it's... Um, I really don't see the need. I don't need to have... I've got an iPad and I hardly ever use that now. Like the iPads are really, really not, not that good because they're an absolute nightmare to type. Uh, the covers that they give you the type, you gotta then carry that with you anyway, so you might as well just take a laptop. Um, and the phones, between a phone and a laptop, there's really a sort of a specialist need for an iPad now. Uh, they have them at work and that's probably about the only thing for work, it's, it's probably a good thing, but yeah. I don't know if the, app, the folding ones are really the way to go. At Samsung's like two and a half thousand bucks, um, I think American. Um, there's another one out, a Huawei one's gonna be about 4,000 plus Australian when that releases, so that's really not gonna sell that well. I mean, there's only so much you can do on the phone anyway, so. But there is a lot more talk about it. Um, it is, they do have the patents in. Um, it's pretty expansive and broad, the patents. But it does look like the, a couple where they've got the screen on the outside and that's the way Apple's gone, how they're gonna scratch protect it and keep it from breaking and getting damaged is probably the, the most essential part to it. Obviously, because you can't have a case on it and then now you've got to somehow try and protect that OLED display. So that'd be interesting. Um, I don't know if you have seen, it was pretty funny. Um, there's a lady called Chrissy Teigen. She's married to a, uh, she's a DJ on, it's like, I can't remember the name of the show, the Lip, the Lip Sync Battles. Uh, she DJs on that. I think she used to be a model. She's married to, I can't, um, John, what's his name? Oh, I've forgotten his name. Uh, a really famous singer, a really good songwriter. Um, he did some work with a charity that Donald Trump was involved with or something. Um, Trump's come out and sprayed him and then also sprayed this guy's wife. She's not one in pulling punches and did on Twitter 
Um, she wasn't even at the thing that uh, he was having a crack at her husband about. But yeah, come out and give it to her, and she's come back and fed it to him. So there's a bit of a Twitter war there, and I think she's hashtag the term pussy ass president or something along those lines. So it's a bit of a back and forth. It's quite funny, actually. Uh, I think he's definitely picked the wrong fight with the wrong person. Uh, she was on Ellen discussing it um, today, or yesterday, sorry. And yeah, she's definitely not stopping, and they're gonna keep going and they're gonna crack him. She didn't really appreciate getting uh, treated like that when she wasn't even involved, and yeah, I think she's got every right to come back and give it to him. If you, uh, you can't, shouldn't be giving it if you can't take it. It's the old saying, and I think uh, Trump could learn a bit from that saying. <clears throat> now, the big thing I did want to talk about, I don't know if you can see it, I'll just quickly check. Oh, maybe. Maybe might be able to bring it up. This here, a little scooter. It's a brand new scooter on the market. <clears throat> it's made in England. It's super, super well made. It's to go up against the boosted rev, pretty much. It is a heck of a scooter. It's called the Zero 10X. It's tw uh, two 1,000 watt motors. It's top speed of 65 k's an hour. It's got a 80 kilometer range on eco mode it'll do 110 kilometers super wide base so you can stand there uh, it'll take 150 kilos weight it's uh, 18 comes in 18 amp hour or 24 amp hour <clears throat> it weighs 35 kilos so it does have a bit of weight in it but obviously with that weight you get that monster range and that super high speed from the batteries uh, both ends are disc brakes Pneumatic tire, pneumatic tires. You can go a normal tire, or you can go an off-road tire. It's got a suspension on the front and rear. I don't know if you can see it there. I'll just check. No, it doesn't show you. Uh, it's hydraulic hydraulic suspension on the front and rear. It's got a heap of travel. I did uh, look at one of the guys reviewing it, and he was jumping up and down on it, and this thing was just just taken the whole grunt of it. He wasn't a big guy, well, I don't think he was like a 100 kilo dude, but he was jumping up and down and it was barely moving and looked super comfortable and he was too scared to get up in the sixth gear. Uh, he was doing, I think, roughly 40, 45 k's an hour and he said that was fast enough for him. Uh, so yeah, it does get along on hoot um, and it's got LED lights on it. It's got the, and the brakes and I don't know, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have the regenerative braking like the Boosted, that's about the only thing. But with that range, that's just in, absolutely insane. Um, super, looks super high quality, really good. You can see, I don't know if you can see, it's got the red suspension, sort of like a pivot, pivot unit on it, on each wheel. Uh, I think it's gonna give Boosted a real crack. It is fairly expensive. You can buy them already in Australia which is really strange. <laughs> Just remember, if you're gonna spend 2,700 bucks, which is what the 24 amp hour costs, um, they are still illegal. But I think everyone's selling them. I just, I just don't get it. I don't know how these shops are allowed to sell something that's illegal to ride. It's a little bit weird. It's like uh, someone selling guns and you're not allowed to have an owner gun. A little bit weird <clears throat> in that regards. I hope these shop owners are covered. Um, if something goes wrong, they're probably gonna get in a little bit of trouble. But um, this is coming through Segway Australia. So like they're a big company. So I'm gonna look, at, look a little bit more into that, but something like this would be fantastic for me. Um, I'm really interested. I think once we get the move to Queensland next year, I'm definitely gonna be looking at one of these. With that 80 kilometer range of full noise, that's that's awesome. That's a whole day's riding for me. That'd be magic. I could just pretty much do whatever I want. Just jump on there, shoot to the shops, go for a ride, do some photography, film me vlog, um, get some heap, heap of good footage, and come home, good as gold. And they're coming out and they're getting better and better. The Segway, uh, the, the Boosted, did a fantastic job, up the game, up the ante on everyone else, made a super, super high spec scooter, 
high quality, great braking, um, really good build quality. These guys, the brakes are absolutely insane. He locked it up and left a big skid mark on the ground. Takes off like a champion. Uh, this guy does a heap of scooter reviews in, in England where he tested it and he said it's the best brakes he's ever had on a scooter and he's tested the boosted rev. So that was a huge, huge thing for him. That's, and it's great to see that the guys that are making them are actually doing the right thing and putting in really good brakes. It's no use having a super fast scooter if you can't stop and then because everyone's just going to crash and get hurt and it's going to be the end of it. <clears throat> so yeah, really, really good. Um, if you are in the market for one, definitely have a look at on. There's a couple of places I did see selling them in Australia, same price, there was no real difference in price. So Segway, Segway Australia's got them, you can definitely check them out over on Segway.com, I think it is. Yeah, Segways, Segwayoz.com.au, you can go check it out uh, for yourself. I'll put the link down below for you. Um, yeah, really, really good. It's very, very fast, very cool. Um, 2,700, it's, it's definitely on that upper end, but 2700 for a car you're gonna get yeah you're gonna be able to carry stuff and do stuff but this is just jump on and go backpack that's all I need chuck me baseball gear in there I'll be able to get to training and do whatever I need to do so very excited about this one uh, I think it's a really good another big step and they're only as for this to jump up over the top of the boosted rev so far it means we're gonna pretty much soon have a just a massive choice of high quality scooters to use. Um, so all we need now is the Australian government to jump on board. Let's play the game, government, whatever your names are, liberal guys. I think in in, uh, in power at the moment, so they can just need them to sign off and get rid of all those stupid rules, so we can all use them. Bike path it. It'll save save the environment. It's good for you, it's good for us, and it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. Anyway, so that's that, the Zero 10X. Go check that out, it is, there's a couple of videos on them, you can check it out, it is really, really good. That's enough products for me, I've gotta get in and do some editing. I don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to bed if you're one of the guys at work, you're probably about to crash out, or you'll see me tonight, so that's all good. Have a great day, it's Sunday. For you guys that had a big night last night, I hope you're not feeling too hungover. Bit of water, go for a walk, have a cruisy day, watch a bit of telly. It's normally fishing on Australian television on Sunday, so it's really good. We'll see you all tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Anyway, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, going home, coming in, out, or down, I'll see you tomorrow.